now. Hello, everyone. Can you tell them a hello? Well, you didn't say hello. You gotta say hello first. Say hello. Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Beefy, and you are? And we're here to open some toys. These are from Dollar Tree, and I was excited to find them today because this is... Yeah, uh, these are from the newest release of their toy line, Final Faction toy line, which, if you haven't heard or seen them, remind me a lot of G.I. Joe, and so these are limited edition ones in which basically they repaint a lot of Series 1. Yeah, show them the Karn one, yeah. Um, it's really cool. So it's like an army of humans um, protecting the Earth from the evil Karn, um, which Junior is trying to show you some of them right there. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. So right now at Dollar Tree, they're buck twenty-five per figure. Um, pretty good quality for a dollar twenty-five. But they also even have some um, uh, vehicles. So like this is kind of the outer shell, which if you've watched any of my uh, guy dozer videos this is actually what he's driving except for it's not the gold edition it's the plain gray one but then for another dollar 25 you can get some armor and some guns to attach to it as well and here's the bad guy vehicle and junior brought the non-venom version of the uh, Karn rumbler as it's called so that's the bad guy one with some... Oh, and then there's there's the bad guy. You know, one of the bad guys, Kreptus. And so this is actually one of the regular series characters. But to show you what they were doing, this is actually the same character. It's just they did a different card back and then a different paint job. So it's pretty cool. So these are really nice for, like, uh, building armies and stuff. So, all right, Junior Beefy, are you ready to open these? Uh oh, where'd he go? All right, so you're, are you ready to open? Yeah. All right, what do you want to start with? You want to start with him? Let's bring him over here. Bring it over here so we can watch. Pull it. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Here, let's put his let's put his stuff on. Put his what his little arm blades on. Oh, you want to give him one of the arm blades? Put it on the side here. See, put it in the yeah right here. And then this guy is kind of like a alien bounty hunter, if I remember correctly. They also did a cartoon of it, um, and I check it check it out on YouTube. It's pretty cool for what it is. And then yeah, he comes with a little bug that can kind of semi perch on his shoulder there. I'll be honest, doesn't really stay on very well, but that's okay. So. Whoa. So yeah, it doesn't have a ton of articulation. Just their tip, their arm, a little at the head. But and then Junior Beefy is on, moving to the next. You want Diabol? <laughs> so this one that we're opening right now is the main leader, or at least the leader so far, of the Karn faction. It's a little... Sh show them up here. Put it, put it above my hand and I'll, hold it up. You show it. Whoa. So that's a dye bowl. So yeah, it's basically just a black finish with a, a green wash on it. If you're into um, painting your own action figures, this would be a pretty good line to do. But yeah, they're pretty cool. You play that? Play that one? Uh-oh. No smash. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you wanna do you wanna open the, the good guy, the P one thirty one robot now? Yep, so the, the bad guys are calling the Venom ones and then over on the, the gold edition of the hero stuff they're calling them elites. Over there. Yeah, this is a generic little robot. Over there. Whoa, what color is he? Yellow. Well, gold and black. Oh, do you want to sh hold it up? Oh, dear. Okay, well, maybe not. But yeah, the cartoon's kind of fun, too. So, check it out. Yeah, so he's got 
it's just that this doesn't move. Um, and the arms and the head on this one doesn't really move. I mean, it kind of wiggles a little bit, but pretty cool. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. All right, so now what do you want to open? Do you want to open this one or do you want to open the Arrow ATV? This one? You want to open the Rumbler? All right, help me open it. Grab it right back there. Or you could rip it that way. There you go. All right. Whoa, here, here it is. But yeah, go to Dollar Tree, check it out. All right. <laughs> so. Nope, I got it upside down. There we go. Nope. But yeah, for a dollar twenty-five, you can get a vehicle, and if you pay another dollar twenty-five, you can upgrade it a little bit. So, gotta say, can't really complain a whole lot about that. Yeah, see, there you go. There's the Rumbler. Let's show them. Let's compare them. So, yeah, this is the Venom Edition. And that's the it's basic Venom one. Edition. Yeah. Can you, can you put Diabol in the Venom one? Well, that's Creptus, but either way, that's okay. And then this is the additional armory weapons and armor. Do you want to take his blades out? Junior Beefy, often not a fan of the accessories. Well, he's riding in it backwards, silly. So it comes with a scorpion, alien scorpion type tail that just slides in. Nothing too fancy. Yes, I think so. Oh, I bet you I put the wheel on backwards. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Always felt like it felt a little bit more. Went in a little more snug than that, but maybe not. I don't know. Like I said, it usually doesn't last long when Junior Beefy's playing with it. All right, and then these attach on the front. Kind of makes it. Oh, what's it look like now? Whoa. It looks like a... Oh, you think it looks like a dragon vehicle? Well, it's the Cryptus, and it does... The little tail on the side does kind of stick out a little bit to the side. That way you can get your guys in. But really, just a little bit of glue or something if you don't want that tail wiggling or coming out. Because that can come out kind of easy, but that's okay too. But yeah, overall, that's the Rumbler. Uh-oh, is he going to run over the robot? No, I think I had the tire on correctly the first time. <laughs> Should just went with my initial instincts, right? Let me, let me see how well this fits on this. Yeah, see that one fit. That one feels like it would fit way more snug. Hmm. Can I see that again? All right. Well, is it time to open the Arrow ATV? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. You want to help? Sure. All right. Open it right here. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Just destroy the box. 
Now this one is usually a little bit more difficult. Not because it's necessarily hard, it's just there's a lot more pegs on it. So I might speed up the video at this point. Hey, Pedro, stop. No, where'd the other top go? You know where the top went? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. All right, so there's just the basic Aero ATV buggy. I do think they did do some redesign from the initial one because some of the parts, like the steering wheel, seem to fit in better, and I think the bottom is a little different. Is that? Oh, I didn't put the didn't put the lights on. Did you get the Indominus out? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That Indominus just likes terrorizing oh, no. the Aero ATV. Oh, oh. oh no. So there's that. So yeah, so. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So now it's time to add the armor and stuff. Here, you want me to put her in there? Put it in there. Here. In there. She's small enough you, you can put her in there that way. So boom. And she is actually a pretty good one for this because she matches with the gold. All right. Do we want to put the armor on it to protect it from the Indominus now? Yeah. All right. Give it here. Pew, pew, pew. Got him. Get down. Get him. All right. Back to show the final result after my phone died and putting this together. But yeah, has nice little armor. It's called the Aero ATV, so the front part there. Then you got some artillery guns. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And the neat thing about the back one is it's got little pegs that you can maybe set the action figure on and hold this so you could have someone riding in the back but yeah that's the elite version of the aero atv and the venom version of the Karn rumbler so anyways thanks for watching
Artist Squad.